Morning. What's the date after SummerSlam? August 18th. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this next comment, we got three more comments up. This next comment is very funny. He's headlining here August 18th. He's very funny. Give it up big for Greg Williams, everybody. Give it up for Greg Williams. Saddle Say Improv, how you doing? How you doing? Good, good, good. Uh, my name is Greg Williams. Stage name's G Williams. Y'all call me Montel Williams if you don't get that right. Okay? Nerds call me Morpheus Williams. Okay? Um, some guys call me Get Off My Woman Williams. Whatever you want to call me, you can do it. Okay? A uh, little bit about me. I like cougars. I consider myself a gazelle. Okay? Uh, but I usually end up with buzzards. That's just usually what I'm no game, no game. I like my wheelchairs, that way I can control the social security check, don't judge me. <laughs> I live in nursing homes, because I don't have a place to stay, okay? I don't care if you judge me, I don't care. <laughs> um, so, I've had a tough day at work. Um, I'm a nurse, that's my job, I'm an RN. Any RNs in the house? Yeah. RNs? You can clap for that too, other non-nurses. Um, I work at Kaiser. So that makes me half Filipino now, right, okay? Okay. I'm shrinking to fit him. I used to be seven feet. I'm only 6'4 now, so... Okay. And I didn't realize going to the nursing that, um, there's a stigma about male nurses being gay, right? I didn't realize that. I was telling my boyfriend, baby, I didn't understand why... I... They judge me because I got on hard like a pants and roller skates. I don't understand. Why they do that, you know? It's hard, I work with all women. It's like being around a big angry sorority all day, okay? It's just, they synchronize the periods to mess with me, okay? Imagine the emotions with all that estrogen in the room, right? You got cramps, moodiness, crying. Half the time, that's me. I'm like, oh, I need some chocolate. <sighs> the ladies understand, good job, bro. Um, they notice everything I do. My coworkers, I work with 15 to 20 women every night. They notice everything I do. You know, if I got like a new uniform, new glasses, like how long I spend in the bathroom. Hey, you were gone 12 minutes. Were you doing number two? Thank you for doing number two because usually you're going four when you're peeing. Two when you're masturbating. That's just what I heard. You know, they're telling me their problems all night, like I want to hear that, right, you know. I got this going on at home, my husband won't listen to me, my kids won't listen to me. And I'm like, if they won't listen to you, what makes you think I want to? <laughs> a lot of guys are not laughing right now, so it's a long drive home, right? <laughs> you know? Um, and I just, it's pretty cool, like in the hospital, I like playing tricks around the hospital when I get bored. Right. So sometimes what I do is sneak into the operating room, Turn the lights up real bright, and I have the whole staff dressed as angels, right? <laughs> well, me in a white wig and beer stand up, welcome, my son. I'm here for you. <laughs> well, you thought I'd be white, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> wrong heaven, wrong heaven, you know. Uh, Sometimes I like uh, uh, when I'm in the operating room, and you, if you've ever had surgery, if you've seen it on TV, uh, they'll have you count backwards from 100 when you're getting anesthesia, right? And I like, right when a guy, I, I like doing it with guys, like, right when a guy's like two seconds from going to sleep, I'll yell out, all right, male to female transition, I got the balls, let's go. Sometimes I like going down the old folks ward, right? I put on a big black hood, and I walk around with a sickle, and I just start pointing at people, just... <laughs> she got scared, like, that was really going down, like... Oh my god, he is back! Uh... <laughs> Sometimes I like, uh, like a, a nurse, I like uh, going in a patient's room, dressed as a doctor, have on a white lab coat, right? Act like I'm reading off some profile off, you know, the chart, like, uh, sir, I'm the best surgeon in the world, I'm gonna take care of you, you'll be fine, right? So what I'll do is I'll sneak back, sneak out, come back in like five minutes dressed like a janitor. <laughs> they love that one, they love that one. But the area I work with in hospitals with babies, 
I work with premature babies, that's what I do. Uh, oh, yeah. It's not all that cool, but uh, it's just pretty cool, but I, I just get tired. For 15 years I've been doing this, and I have to hear the same reaction from every family about their baby. You know, every same reaction, the same, you know, phrase, like, oh my God, oh my God, isn't this baby so precious? Isn't this baby so precious? And I usually want to go, no, but if she keeps drinking that much milk, she's going to look like precious in about 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are like, isn't this baby just the cutest thing? Isn't this baby just the cutest thing? And I usually want to go, no, no. I, I saw something much cuter last week. So, <laughs> and all the babies in this room, yours is the ugliest. Let me just go ahead and say that. Right now. <laughs> like, if we go down on a scale of babies, let's roll down, all right? All right we got Gerber babies. We got Maggie from The Simpsons. <laughs> Stewie from Family Guy. Chucky, Rosemary's baby. Your baby's right there. That's just right there, your baby. Falls in right there, you know. Uh, I moved out here from Atlanta, Georgia, so there's a lot of racism out there. I used to like have to throw some of the fathers off, the white fathers, when they give me a little grief, you know. So I used to be like, uh, "Sir, your baby's real sick, and we had to do a special treatment for him, and uh, we had to give him African American blood." <laughs> so uh, now your baby's 17 percent black. Welcome to the family, dog. I start dancing in the space. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Your baby gonna look like a fool in 15 years with his pants on the ground, you know? We got uh, the x-ray department, they got this little portable machine they put over the babies, right? So I throw them off, when they're not looking, I put things under the baby. I put like keys under the baby, <laughs> pencils and love nuts, right? One time I put a couple of bullets in it. It's like, somebody shot that baby, can you believe that? Hey, shot that baby, he must be from Oakland. Uh, yeah, he must be. <laughs> All right, y'all, I gotta get out of here. I got my show August 18th, y'all. Good night.